Man, I have not seen a hype for a game go to disappointment so fucking fast. Let's talk about Paper Mario Color Splash. Hey guys, this is HMK and I'm going to talk a little bit about Paper Mario Color Splash. And if you guys didn't know, because I do focus on Legend of Zelda Kingdom Hearts, but I'm starting to expand to more other things, mainly Nintendo. If you guys didn't know, I am an enormous Paper Mario fan. I love Paper Mario. I adore Paper Mario. I, Paper Mario, Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door, Paper Mario, Super Paper Mario, Paper Mario Sticker Star, Mario and Luigi Paper Jam. If you guys didn't know, my favorite, and a lot of people like to argue with me, like my best friends who love Paper Mario as well, they like to argue with me. Honestly, I think the first Paper Mario was the best one. Thousand Year Door was amazing, but I thought the first one was the best one for a lot of reasons. I might go into it into another video. But, in the most recent Nintendo Direct, we got the reveal of Paper Mario Color Splash. Now, a lot of us want a new Paper Mario for the Wii U. Yes, we wanted it. And... The reveal was so underwhelming, and a lot of people are wondering why, who haven't seen the Nintendo Direct and stuff. Let me give you a little rundown on why it was underwhelming. Now, if you haven't seen my boy Skyro Wings video, that's another take on it, and I totally agree with him. You should check you should totally check it out. I'm gonna leave it in the comment section below. Like, check out that video. It's like Sky. But the reason why Paper Mario Color Splash was so underwhelming is because when they showed it at the Nintendo Direct, they, I, I don't know what's up with them, but they assumed that we knew about it already. They thought, they like, they marketed it, they showed us like, it, we knew about it already. They're like, yeah, get ready to do this in Mario, in Paper Mario Color Splash. Paper Mario's gonna have to go around coloring things and stuff. And it was like in and out, like we, we knew what it was already. I mean, like, no! We didn't know what Paper Mario was! We didn't know if Paper Mario was coming to the Wii U! But we we were glad that Paper Mario was coming to the Wii U in the form of Color Splash, but then, but then, but then, but then, We found out that it's gonna play very similar to that of Paper Mario Sticker Star. So the thing is, for Paper Mario Sticker Star, I had the joy of playing it. But the thing is, if you haven't played Sticker Star, you have to understand it. It's a very radically different game than that of Thousand Year, Thousand Year Door and Paper Mario. Uh, the, the case of Super Paper Mario, if you knew, if you played that game, you knew it was like more of a platformer with RPG elements into it. But it didn't have the turn-based battles that Paper Mario was known and loved for. So, Paper Mario Sticker Star went back to those roots where, like, you engage into an enemy and you fight them, but, but, uh, you didn't really level up or get experience points. Rather, you had to fight enemies with stickers as your attacks that you find in the field or you buy from people. You heard me right. If you haven't played Sticker Star, this is what it is. You know how in, in Paper Mario and Paper Mario Thousand Year Door you get badges which give you moves or give you a special stat boost, but yet you're still able to accumulate uh, experience points in the form of star points, and then you get to level up. You level up your flower power or your Mario power, your Mario power, HP, hit points, or you get to uh, level up your badge power, which allows you to equip more badges, and then you get more moves and stuff like that. Right? And the badges give you moves. In Sticker Star, you have to look for stickers! That are your attacks! Hence, in the nutshell, if you had no stickers, you're fucked in battle! That's the one thing I hated about Sticker Star. Sure, some of the sticker abilities were cool where you get to summon a giant fan, or you get to or you get to get a, a booster item or whatever, and but but when you get the stickers, like you get a hammer sticker, it allows you to do a hammer attack. You get a boot sticker, it allows you to do a jump attack. If they're holographic, they do more damage. Okay, Ooh, whatever. Uh huh. Color Splash seeks to emulate that with cards that you can get on the field. Nintendo. 
Sticker Star was alright. You know, a lot of people say it's a terrible game. It was alright. It was alright. But it's not what we want from Paper Mario. We want another Paper Mario 1. We want another Thousand Year Door. Super Paper Mario, I enjoyed it. It was cool. But, like, I would rather have turn based Thousand Year Door or Paper Mario 1. Color Splash is Sticker Star on the Wii U. Which I've noticed with Mario games, the Nintendo seems to follow a pattern, which I'll explain in another video upcoming. Nintendo seems to be following a pattern with Mario specifically, where they have these handheld games from the 3DS and assume that's what people want on the Wii U. But no! It's fine or it's acceptable when it's on the 3DS mobile games. Walk around, do it, whatever. On the small screen. Once on the big screen, we want something big! A console game! Thousand Year Door! They did it with Super Mario 3D World. They took 3D Land, put it on the Wii U. I like 3D World, but I would much rather have Galaxy or Super Mario Sunshine type deal on the Wii U. They took Mario Tennis Open, stripped it down, and gave us Martellus Ultra, Ultra Smash, which sucks so much dick. They're taking Color Splash, they're taking Sticker Star, put it on the Wii U, add paint, Color Splash. And, and the one thing that that, that, that that kills me is that the, the, the map, the map, on Color Splash is like the map on Sticker Star. Where you, you don't really truly have an open world where you get to explore like you did in Thousand Year Door or Paper Mario 1 or Super Paper Mario. No, you have to go from like hub to world 1-1, one, one, world 1-2, one, world 1-3, one, 1-1-4, one, one, done, chapter done, chapter 2, world 2-1, two, world 2-2, two, two, world 2-3, two, world 2-4, chapter done, world 3-1, world 3-2, World 3-3, World 3-4, chapter done. No, we don't want that! We don't want that. We don't fucking want that. And if that's what you liked about Sticker Star, you just... No! Fuck that shit. Open world! Yes! And they and you know it's funny because I they they, they took away they, they took that away from Mario. Starting like 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 console Mario, starting from Super Mario Galaxy 2. Sure, we didn't see if it as a big deal, um, because Super Mario Galaxy 2 had a lot of shitload of levels. So we were like, okay, like it streams and stuff, we don't get lost, whatever. People said they got lost in Super Mario Galaxy 1, but it turns out to run with that in every fucking Mario game since! Pit Mario was underwhelming, because the way they handled this Assuming that we knew about it, assuming that it was a game that was like common knowledge at the point, it fucking wasn't! And two, the fact that it's Sticker Star 2. A game we didn't ask for. We want Thousand Year Door 2, we want Paper Mario 3, we want a true Paper Mario 3, but, 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 why, why fucking Sticker Star? Why, why go back to Sticker Star? WHY?! Well, if you like Sticker Star, that's you. You do you, boo boo, but. No, no, not for the Wii U. Not fucking for the Wii U. No. But Nintendo's never wanted to cancel games and change them up. It's in, within development. It's coming out this year. Color Splash. I'm probably gonna end up playing it because I love Paper Mario. But it's probably gonna be a bad time. So guys, I wanna know what you think. I wanna know what you guys think about Color Splash. Paper Mario Color Splash. Leave it in the comment section below. Until next video about Paper Mario. I have an HMK. I'll check you guys later.